Buongiorno, io switch, switcherò all'inglese, eh, ma nel, per iniziare io spero di presentare qualcosa di eh, innovativo, eh, anche se come ci ha appena mostrato eh, il signor il dottor Pasquini che non siamo in un momento ottimo, cioè più si produce e più si perde, però ha anche parlato di un business ecologico e quindi eh, dobbiamo per forza andare in, quel, in quella direzione e quindi eh, parlerò di eh, MFC o microfibrillated cellulose. Ok, I will switch to, to English. Um, my name is Stefano Simeonato, uh, I am responsible for Valmet sales uh, in Italy. Um, it's been a long time since my last public presentation, so what happens now is I'm much older but I'm still quite nervous, but I will try and proceed, hopefully be clear and, uh, and understandable anyway. Um, the microfibrillated cellulose uh, MFC uh, is, uh, will be a short presentation, it will be a brief introduction uh, just to show you how interesting it is and uh, to show that this progressive journey from uh, a laboratory bench has moved all the way now to uh, commercial and uh, industrial production. So, let's proceed. Questo. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, what is microfibrillated cellulose, or MFC, or how does Valmet define this MFC? Well, this is a natural material of uh, cellulosic fibrils, uh, which is obtained from a unique, and I would say quite an extreme, refining process. Uh, the fibers are processed to a level which uh, goes above 70% or 90% of fines. Uh, there's a lot of uh, fibrillation and there's also a fiber length reduction. We go to 0.4 or 0.2 uh, millimeters. Uh, why is it so interesting, this MFC? Well, uh, MFC for sure is interesting in the paper industry because it is a bio-based, sustainable, renewable and biodegradable product. It is non-food and non-land uh, competing. Uh, and in the paper industry, uh, what it can do is naturally increase the mechanical properties or characteristics of the fiber and of the web. Uh, it can also improve and change the surface properties of the paper. Uh, this can be done if we look at the strength of the fibers, we can do this in paper, in board, and in tissue. If we look at the surface properties, for the moment, obviously, we are focusing only on uh, paper and board. It can also replace uh, fossil-based raw materials uh, in certain current uh, application. And above all, it will open a window to a whole new world of different sustainable paper grades. Now, how can this MFC be added to the furnish or to the production? Uh, there are two principal ways that we can add it to the furnish. One way is that we mix it in the pulp mass, and when we mix it in the pulp mass, we obtain an overall, overall sheet structure benefit. The other way is to apply it directly to the surface of the sheet, as you can see from the photo, with a specially designed uh, applicator. So, obviously, these there are even other ways now we are considering even to put it directly into the head box. If you have a, of, an OptiLayer head box like in Valmet with different layers, we can add it. And then we, will, we are also checking if we can add it later on with the coating or with the size. Um, if it is applied directly to the surface, uh, you can see immediately the difference between a surface with MFC and a surface without MFC, even on the other side. What happens when we apply it to the surface? We can modify, we can control, we can improve uh, surface smoothness, uh, sheet closure, ink absorption, and above all, we can also uh, improve certain barrier properties. Depends how much MFC we will add to the, the paper or to the mix. Preserving aromas and enhancing protection from gases and liquid. If it is applied in the pulp mess, Okay, then we, 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 we push in a different direction. That means we want to get strength, we strengthen the fibers, we strengthen the web, 
and in that way we can reduce uh, quite drastically uh, raw materials like uh, softwood uh, virgin fiber in, uh, in the mix. And as a, a let's say, a, a, a side path, we, we are convinced that we can gain even lighter grammages because of the larger surface area and stronger composites of MFC. Now, how can you approach MFC or how can the, the, the paper industry approach uh, microfibrillated cellulose? Well, there are various ways to approach it. Uh, the easiest way is obviously to ask uh, for testing facilities. We have uh, technology centers where we can test uh, MFC applied directly onto the surface with our uh, specially designed applicator. We can also produce MFC in our uh, technology centers and therefore put it in the mix and you can see the results. Obviously you can be up to see these results and we have versatile laboratory possibilities to give you all the results that you want from these tests to see if this can be a business opportunity for your paper, board or tissue production. Uh, another way which is usually the second phase is to do these tests directly on site. And we can do these tests on site because uh, if we want to put it on the sheet surface, we can apply the applicator, we can deliver the applicator, sorry, and the applicator can be delivered on trial or uh, on rental basis. The same we can do with the whole refiner system. We have a unique refining system to do this MFC. We have a skid which can also be delivered uh, on trial or, or, or rental basis. Uh, once uh, this has been tested in the mill and, and, and the mill has a better idea of where it wants to go, then for us today it's possible to deliver uh, industrial uh, solutions. We can deliver the industrial solution for the applicator and we can deliver the industrial solution for the unique refining based technology dimensioned and tailor made for uh, your production. Uh, this was the first part of the presentation uh, just to try and uh, explain uh, how we define MFC and how MFC can be beneficial in the paper industry. Obviously we are in Tuscany in the tissue area so I have two cases which I can show. Uh, we cannot go into the details of the graphs because uh, all the, the customers that are testing MFC uh, ask us to sign an NDA so we can keep a general information but the general information is anyway uh, interesting enough. Uh, the first case belongs to a mill. This is a conventional tissue machine and the idea in this mill was to replace the softwood virgin fiber. Uh, what we did was we made the MFC from North American softwood. The fiber was processed to 90% fines using a two-stage process and then we added into the mix 2.5% of, uh, of MFC. The results were very interesting because we realized that for the tissue or bath grade we were able to totally remove the software fiber from the production line and for the towel grades we were able to reduce uh, this uh, uh, softwood for more than 50%. Please take note that this is a one-shot test, a one-shot trial. Uh, you can do much better than this if you can play and you can optimize with the dosages and, and uh, how you process the fiber. We did another case just to see if, if this could be confirmed. This time we did it in the technology center of, uh, of Karlstadt, uh, Valmet. There we did it on our uh, pilot uh, tissue machine in the NTT configuration. Again, we tried to replace uh, the softwood in a generic 20 grams per uh, square meter bath tissue. This time, the MFC was not made from softwood, but we made it from eucalyptus hardwood. We processed the fiber to two different levels of fine, 65% and 87%, and we added 4 to 6% MFC. Please note that this 4 to 6% MFC is usually a very high percentage, but we just wanted to try and see what would come out of this one-shot uh, test. Uh, we obviously made uh, a lot of samples. We, we, we checked the softness, we checked the tensile, we checked the TEA, 
I will not go in detail of the graphs. Uh, you can study that later on, or you can ask me to go in detail later on. But what came out even from this uh, trial in, uh, in Karlstadt was that we eliminated the softwood uh, virgin fiber from, uh, from, uh, from the line for this uh, bath tissue grade, and uh, we actually exceeded the web and the fiber strengths that we were looking for because we had added too much uh, M MFC. So as, as a rapid conclusion to this uh, industrialization of MFC, what we can say for tissue is that uh, MFC today is industrially viable and can be produced from different pulps. We have produced it from softwood, we have produced it from hardwood, we have produced it even from uh, uh, mechanical pulps and certain recycling pulps. So we are getting to know how to produce this uh, very well. Uh, in tissue, for sure, it can strengthen your fibers, it can strengthen your web, it can make you reduce the need of uh, softwood into your mix, and all this can be done without adding chemistry. So what we are looking for here is, as uh, Mr. Pasquini said before, we are looking for an ecological way to improve our business, and we believe that this MFC is a real green solution for the tissue producers. Not only for the tissue producers, because if we go look at the paper and board, the same thing can happen there. We have the possibility to produce it industrially, and when we give it to paper and board, you have even more benefits than in the tissue, because in the paper and board, you can add it in the mix, but you can also put it on the sheet surface, or you can put it on the sheet surface while you're adding it also in the mix. Now, with all these possibilities to play, you can understand that you will have a much better control on the, on the cost per ton of the quality. You will be able to control your furnish flexibility. You will control the surface properties, the barrier properties as well, which is extremely important, uh, and increase wet strength and dry strength possibilities. So again, even for the paper and board, likewise for the tissue, uh, we can say that it is really sustainable. It is a future alternative to plastics and aluminium in packaging. It is 100% biodegradable. And uh, obviously, even in the special papers, when we're going to food contact, this uh, MFC can preserve the aroma, the scent of the food, and provides excellent oxygen and grease barrier. So today I conclude and say that yes, we can deliver industrial systems of MFC, as I said, either to apply it to the sheet surface or to put it directly into the mix. We can deliver uh, these MFC uh, lines that you can put uh, wherever you think you have the need and you have a green solution for today's paper maker. Thank you very much. I appreciate the, the attention. And if you need, you know where to find me. You will find my phone number and uh, call me whenever you want. Thank you.